Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. I know I'm going to be a little bit off of decorating. I just want to give you an idea of what I live like at home when I'm not decorating for the holidays. This here are my chickens. We call them the Sanderson sisters. <laughs> the blonde one is Sarah. The little scruffier looking one there is Winifred. And this one's Mary. <laughs> we have so much fun with these little chickens. They are the cutest things. The personalities, I love them. They are so fun. I so enjoy them. We're in the wintertime, so you can see that we have snow. and We just inherited these guys oh, a couple of months ago. They were kind of sickly when we got them. Somebody just didn't want them anymore. A friend of my husband's. Well, a friend of a friend, I guess, of my husband's. And he just didn't want them anymore. So he said... We'll take them. Well, we didn't do any research on how to take care of chickens. <laughs> Since then, we have. They're quite a lot of work, but oh, they are funny. Oh, they're so funny. I found they don't really, they did when we got them like pumpkin, but they don't seem to like it anymore. You know, they are meat eaters. They love meat. Any kind of meat. It don't matter. I can throw out some yummy vegetation stuff here, and I'll throw some meat out, and boy, they're after the meat. <laughs> funny little girls. They are funny. They've just recently started laying eggs for us. We've had them for about two or three months, I think. And in the last couple of weeks, not even two weeks, about a week and a half, they have started laying eggs for us. And it's only been one. And here's the chicken coop, and we went and got an electric... Um, water heater because it gets pretty cold here in Colorado and there are backyard chickens my whole backyard I used to have the prettiest backyard but then well I don't know what happened that was our fire pit we'd come out here and sit on my fire pit and it was so pretty and it became the trash pile and now it's too close to our chicken coop so we're going to have to remove it and put it someplace else in our yard my yard had all the beautiful, it looked Italian kind of, I don't think you can see it in this lighting. It's, I have a statue over there and some urns. and I just had some really pretty things all over, but life has happened. I, I took in some foster kids for a while and, and then my own grandkids lived here and I don't know, I just ran out of energy and gumption to do what needed to be done out here and well the ravages of time here in the last about three years has just taken its toll on my once was a beautiful backyard but I hope this year we will get back after it we have inspiration because we still enjoy our fire pits so maybe now that we have these girls and we know we have to move our fire pit it'll help us get going out here you know, this area right here used to be a, like a grotto area. I had a nice little sitting area, and it was really pretty. There's, It's like ruins now. We had to take it apart and put a new fence in. And, well, now we have chickens. And See, they have a little bit of the grotto still, stone right here, which helps protect from any animals burrowing under their little caged-in area. At night, we close that off. It's a... Uh, area to protect them. They go up in their house. <laughs> Everything's kind of makeshift for now. I think this summer we will really work on making a really nice place. But uh, um, this is all they lived in when we first got them. Hi Winifred. How's my girl? Yeah, how's my girl? Hello Sarah. Hello Mary. <laughs> It's taken me a little bit to get used to the fact that I can pet these chickens because they do peck, and when they do, they peck pretty hard. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, it's a camera. <laughs> and so there's their feed bowl, and so they go up in there and they roost up inside of the house at night. I don't know if you can see anything here. This is for your summertime holes. We got. We need to clean it out again. Well, and. It's been bad weather. But anyway, this thing right here, we slide over and we hook it on these screws. And so they're sealed in there at night so predators during the night can't get to them. And they can't burrow under it because this is that stone. And so it keeps them safer at night. And then during the day, 
over there was a pretty garden. It really was. This was once had beautiful roses and irises and, you know, just everything. So I don't know what it's going to become there. It's one of their little areas where they can free pack. It's dirt. They can do what they want to. And there's some of their feed. And over here was also, on the other side of this little sitting area, was also another uh, garden. It had roses and all kinds of beautiful. I had, I had trees growing in these, but they died. We had a blight that came through a couple of years ago and killed all my trees, which really upset me. But down in here, um, it was kind of, I had some, like, broken pottery and stuff in here, kind of looking like it was an old Roman um, ruins a little bit in the midst of the flowers and stuff. And Well, now we have holes dug in there, and, and the birds like to dig and give themselves baths. They take the dirt baths, and we put a little dirt. Dionysius earth into it, which helps to kill off parasites that can really affect them. But this has been fun having these little girls. Don't you pick my foot. I don't have socks on, and so my skin there looks like a piece of meat, and I know they'll peck me. Because <laughs> this one has. She's pecked me pretty good on my foot because she thought it was food. <laughs> so anyway... From my house to yours, I'm wishing you a happy new year and that everything's going well for you all. And, whoops, and uh, that you will enjoy life. Get out there and enjoy things. Mine right now happens to be our new project of chickens. They lay the prettiest brown eggs. So anyway, say bye to the Sanderson sisters. And they're not wicked. They're just cute. <laughs> anyway, God bless you all. You take care, and Happy New Year to all of you, even though it's at the end of January. It's still the beginning of a new year. May it be blessed, and may the Lord keep, take care of you and keep you safe from all harm. You take care now. God bless. <laughs>